Welcome, BFIT Nation. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday. So great to have you back once again, kicking off our second workout in February of the new year. So once again, uh, welcome to BFIT Live. I'm, uh, you're joined with me, your BFIT Ambassador, Roy Montes, and I have my guest, my partner, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning, Roy. I'm doing good. Excited to get my first workout for the week. Get it in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. As am I. As am I. And it's a great uh, workout that we have programmed today. So once again, be fit live on our Mondays. It is a great way to kick off your week nice and strong, nice and nice and healthy to get the ball rolling for the week. So um, go ahead and, and, and get settled in. Uh, grab your water, grab your hydration. Uh, that's important for us for today. Grab a towel. Uh, if you have any resistance available to you, go ahead and grab any dumbbells or any water bottles or anything with a handle, actually. That will come in handy for two movements that we have programmed for today. Um, and with that, we're going we're gonna to have some fun today. So go through a, a few notes that, uh, this week. Uh, this month actually is Heart Health Awareness Month. So we are just shining a, a nice light on our heart and our health and uh, just being mindful to, to put yourself first um, for your health and your activity. Try to reduce some of your um, cholesterol, your high blood pressure by making better choices throughout the week and all those small details, those small little increments of uh, better choices and healthier choices uh, can make a difference in the long run for both our health and our wellness. So uh, if you're new to BFIT Live, we welcome you. We are great and uh, thankful that you are here with us. We are one community, one team, and one mission that we have is to keep uh, fit. So uh, you'll see a programmed workout that we will go through today. Our timing for today is just like our previous past workouts. So it is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, we will have four rounds and we will have four exercises in between uh, in each of these rounds with one minute rest in between uh, each of these rounds. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, four rounds and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of programming for today. I will go through and demo each of these movements. That way we are not surprised once we, once we reach each of these exercises uh, we will go through some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies nice and prepared and ready to work. And then we will jump into the workout to complete just under 30 minutes of a workout for us today. So with that, um, a few uh, this year, we've been really highlighting some featured products that we like to see on BFIT Live. So uh, not, just like our previous weeks where we, hide, we um, highlighted hydration, resistance bands, and um, mats that we are able to use. So some essentials that we take care of during our live workouts, no other uh, change today, but we do have a nice duffel bag. Our team over at Under Armour sent a nice duffel bag. And I think it's uh, something that may be overlooked whenever we are getting ready to work out or getting ready for um, <clears throat> anything that's on the go. So Under Armour went ahead and sent us this duffel bag here and again, you're able to pack in all your stuff on the go from extra clothing to warmer clothing if you're working out outdoors. Uh, a great duffel here to keep in your arsenal of fitness related gear. So again, you can find this product at your local exchange or go ahead and hit shopmyexchange.com where you can find a large assortment of Under Armour duff Under Armour duffel bags as well as this one that we have right here. So with that, Let's go through some of the exercises that I have programmed for you today, and then we will jump into some dynamic stretching. So our first exercise up for today, we have a combo movement here. We are all familiar with jumping jacks, but this time around, we are gonna spice things up with an overhead press. So grabbing your resistance of choice, if you don't have any resistance, I want you to make nice strong fists with your <laughs> nice strong fists here with your hands, all right? We are going to get set in that jumping jack position. So your start is here. We are jumping out into a jack. And while we jump out, we are going to overhead press 
into one movement and then you're back into your starting position with that jack. So it's going to look nice and quick, really working that lower body with those abductors, your glutes, your quads with nice absorption of your weight, as well as targeting our shoulders with that overhead press. So the idea behind two of these movements is to get our heart rate going and nice and elevated to burn those additional calories, as well as two movements that we are gonna be focusing on adding uh, resistance. So that's gonna be exercise number one. Exercise number two, we have an alternating bent over dumbbell row. This is gonna really activate and engage our back. So if we have any dumbbells available to us, and if you don't, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and grab anything with a handle or make those strong tight fists and just engage and isolate uh, and really exaggerate that top portion of your row. So <clears throat> with that, we are gonna take, take a nice strong stance here. So our feet are going to be shoulder width apart here, right? Soft bend at our knees. We are going to hinge at the hips, right? So we want our hips to be pushed back to the wall. We are gonna have that nice flat back and our head is gonna be in line with that spine. That's gonna be the key here, spinal alignment to prevent any injury in that lower back, right? So protecting that back by engaging that core. So stucking that navel in, bringing it back to your spine, right? And with those dumbbells here, any type of resistance, hinging at the hips, soft bend at the knees, we are gonna alternate with that row, squeezing that shoulder blade back and bringing that elbow up to the ceiling, all right? Alternating left arm, right arm to your pace, to your control. It's all about, all about keeping your form nice and controlled here with this movement. <laughs> all right, exercise number three. <laughs> we have a combo movement here that we may not have done yet, but it is a fun movement. And this is going to activate our lower body as well as our biceps, all right? We're gonna take, take a nice wide stance here with a sumo squat. And then at the same time, once we come up into that top position, we are gonna go ahead and activate a bicep curl. So again, if you do not have any dumbbells, that's perfectly fine, <laughs> all right? We are going to take that nice strong stance, make that fist with your hands, right? We're gonna drop down into that sumo squat position, sumo meaning it's a wider than shoulder width apart. If this is our shoulder width stance here for our bent over row, then take an extra step out wider than your shoulder width down, right? Toes pointing outward just slightly. Knees are gonna track over our toes as we come down. Nice tall chest. Again, that back is flat and you want that head in alignment with that spine, right? Drop down into that sumo squat. Once you come up, go ahead and go roll into that bicep curl. All right, so we are here in one movement. Palms are gonna be facing away from us. Chest is up, head in that neutral position, engaging those glutes and those hamstrings with that sumo squat. And then we are up into a bicep curl to activate. Yes, those biceps. All right, so that's gonna be the sumo squat with bicep curl, okay? That's gonna be exercise number three. And exercise number four, we reserve that for core movements. So this is gonna be a little bit quick. And the idea is we want to get that heart rate elevated, right? For some cardio based movement. So we have 10 ab cycles, and then we are flipping over just as quickly for two push ups. So your ab cycles, you're gonna be on the ground here. Knees are gonna be up. Go ahead and extend knee to elbow, knee to elbow, alternate. We wanna roll through 10 ab cycles. After you get through with those 10, you are rolling over. And then we're dropping down into two push-ups, right? Key points with those push-ups. Once again, let's go ahead and have hands underneath shoulders for support into that high plank position. We're gonna lower that chest. Nice and controlled. Those thumbs are gonna be right inside of that shoulder, right? Keeping that back flat, head in that neutral position. Two push-ups, And then we are turning back over just as quickly for those 10 ab cycles. How does that sound, team? <laughs> 
All right. My heart rate is elevated just from demoing, so I know this is going to be a fun one. All right. Once again, welcome to BFIT Live. If you are just joining us, I just went through the demos here of the four exercises that we're going to move today. We have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and four rounds of each of those four exercises. All right. Go ahead and hydrate, towel off. Let's get ready for some dynamic stretching right before we jump into our workout for today. So as I grab some water and get ready, we will jump into some dynamic stretching. Hmm. I hope everyone had a great week, a great weekend. <laughs> Let us know where you're watching from. Drop a comment in the notes below, in the comments below, comment section here on Facebook. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're working out from. Let us know if you are using any resistance for today's workout. All right, just like every workout, we like to take advantage of our time right before and get our mind and bodies right, prepared and ready to work for today's workout. So some dynamic stretching that we are gonna go through for today. Again, each of these movements will be about 30 seconds duration and you can do at your own pace, your own tempo, um, kind of feeling out your body. So first things first, let's jump into a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna keep our feet together here. We're gonna take that right leg, extend it back and we're gonna take that left arm and extend it straight up as we push those hips forward. You're gonna feel that stretch in your quad while we alternate left leg back, right arm up, pushing those hips forward as we go through that alternate movement. Nice, 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 nice. That arm is gonna reach a little bit further, higher, a little higher. <laughs> you should feel your back stretch out just a little bit, your shoulders. You're gonna feel some blood flow moving in between or into your upper body and your lower body movements. Good job, team, good job. All right, let's move into some alternate lateral lunges here. We're gonna take a nice strong stance, nice wide stance. Our feet are gonna be pointed forward. All right, we're just going to lunge. Just lunge side to side here, shifting that body weight from left leg to right leg. You're gonna feel that stretch inside your inner thigh keeping that chest up, taking your time here, feeling out your body. You may be tight from this weekend or from this morning. So it's nice to take some time to really feel out where you may be the, the most tight. Kind of work in that, work in those areas. All right, team, let's go to the top of our space. Top of our space, we're gonna do reverse lunges with an alternate, uh, with a lunge reach. So our hands are gonna come together like so. Clasp them together. We're gonna take a nice wide reverse lunge back, dropping that knee down, chest is up, arms are up, and you're going into that overhead reach. Just slightly from the left, back up top, extending that left leg back now or right, and reaching over. You're gonna feel that stretch in your lats. Some muscle groups that we are going to work today. Take your time with this one. Again, really opening up those hips, getting some blood flow into those glutes, those quads, stretching out those hip flexors. If we've been seated today, they may be a little tight. They may be a little short right now. So let's go ahead and stretch those out. Get those ready to work. Last one here. Good work team, all right. Let's go back to our workout space, back to our space here and we have walkouts. We're gonna go for about four work, walk, four walkouts here. Back to our <laughs> space here. Feet shoulder width apart. We are stretching and reaching down to our toes. We are walking out into a high plank position, pausing at that high plank for one, two count and then extending back up touching our toes, rolling that spine up nice and tall, and we are back down for another rep. Nice and slow. Take this time to engage your core with that pause at the bottom. Good. Again, rolling that spine right back up, standing up nice and tall, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings as you touch your toes, as you come down to that high plank position, pausing and retracting and one more rep here good job team 
High plank position, pausing and retracting. Ooh, that one feels good. All right, let's go into some YTWs. We're gonna stretch out and loosen up our mid to upper back as well as our shoulders. So we're gonna bring our hands together here. Hands together, feet shoulder width apart, nice strong stance here. We're gonna make a big Y with our hands. Again, bringing our shoulder blades back, back to center here. Reaching left and right as far as you can with that T. Look at that wingspan, back to center and making a big W with those arms, right? Again, bringing those shoulder blades together. Back into that Y. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love the interaction here. <laughs> a big T here. It's good to have fun and play <laughs> while we work out here. It's all about having fun. One more time here, a big Y. Good, stretch it out a little bit further here with a big T, left and right. And one more here for that W. All right, team, good work. All right, we are warmed up, we are prepared, we are ready to go. Again, four exercises for today, four movements, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of work. Let me go ahead and start a timer here while we get to it. Let me go ahead and lower the volume. We don't want to hear a lot of that. All right. <clears throat> All right, team. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate for today's workout. Again, it's a hybrid workout. So we have cardio-based movements and resistance-based movements. So cardio base is going to elevate our heart rate. And then those resistance-based movements, we want slow, controlled, and um, purposeful movements, okay? So we want to really think about the muscle groups that we are working. So with that, we have a jumping jack with a press. Go ahead and grab any resistance that you may have, you may have around you. I'm gonna start off here. All right, and we are up in just about five seconds here. Not really. Okay, 10 seconds on the clock here, and we have that jack to press. Remember that's that jumping jack to overhead press. And two, one, here we go team. Remember we have 40 seconds of work here. Take your time. Again, all of these movements to your comfort level, right? If you do not have any weights, that's okay. Make that strong fist. Good job, halfway there, good. All right, stay on the, try and stay on the balls of your feet here. Really engage that quad, those quads. Your shoulders should be nice and activated here. We're out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest on the clock here. And then we will move into alternating dumbbell, alternating dumbbell bent over rows. There we go. All right, team, we are up in five, three, two, one. All right, feet are shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees, hinging at the hips, bringing those dumbbells down. We are alternating left arm up, right arm up. Give me a squeeze at the top here, making sure our back is flat, keeping that chest up. Shoulders are gonna be back. Try not to round out your back here. If you're up a little higher, that's fine. 15 seconds of work here. Nice and controlled, Sergeant Barry. I see it. I like it. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Good, good, good. Remember, 15 seconds of rest here. And we have a sumo squat with a bicep curl. Remember that. This is a nice wide stance here. Sitting those hips back first, pushing those hips back. Here we go. In three, two, one. Here we go, team. Making that strong fist into that sumo squat. Keeping those elbows tucked in to your rib cage. That chest is up, right? Nice and proud. Head is gazing straight ahead. Squeezing at the top with that bicep curl. Nice and controlled here, lower those hips down. Those toes are slightly bent 
angled outward. Knees are tracking over those toes. Nice. Last five here. Out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we have our fourth exercise, 10 ab cycles and two crunches. So those sumo squats should feel a little differently. We're incorporating a little bit of our lower glute there, our hamstring, and then driving up with that max glute. All right, 10 ab cycles and two push-ups coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Nice and controlled movements here, bringing that alternate knee to elbow. 10 cycles in total. Once you're done with those 10, let's flip over with a quickness. And you have two push-ups. If we need to scale back and go off of our knees with those push-ups, let's do that, team. We are almost there. Last eight. Five. Three, two, one. If you're in a push-up, finish out those two push-ups. And time. <laughs> Good work, team. First round down. First round, we learn it. The second round, we will scale up and crush it. <laughs> Good work, team. This is where we get to take a breather, to towel off, to hydrate, and get ready for that next round. Again, we have three more rounds ahead of us here. We have 30 seconds left to rest, recover, towel off. Let us know where you're watching from. Again, drop us a note in the comments if you have any questions for us. Sergeant Barry or myself, we will do our best to answer. We are up in 10 seconds here, grabbing that weight of choice. We have jumping jacks with an overhead press. All right, five, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Back into those jacks with an overhead press. Nice shoulder work here. Really working on that head of the shoulder here with that over top press. Nice and controlled movements with that jumping jack. Working and focusing on our breathing here. Deep breaths in. Good job, team. Last 10. Out in five. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> How do those feel, team? How do those feel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that gets it solid. <laughs> that gets the body going. All right. Yeah. A bent over row coming up in five. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Hinging at the hips, softening at those knees, flat back, alternating row. Give me a pause at the top. Really focus on squeezing, utilizing those lats, that mid of your back to squeeze at the top here. Again, be mindful, keeping that back flat. And that gaze should just be a few feet in front of you. Last 12 here. Nice tempo, good job. Out in five, three, two, one. Last rep and time. Ooh. Brought that down to a yoga. <laughs> All right, 10 seconds of rest here and we are in a sumo squat with our bicep curl. Second round here, if you have the option to scale up, let's do it team. If not, stay with me here with those tight fists. Two, one, sumo squat. We are down. 40 seconds on the clock. We are working. Again, keeping that chest up nice and tall. Dropping those hips down to our comfort level. Right? Engaging those glutes at the bottom of that movement, those hamstrings. Driving up through that quad. Quads. 13 seconds left here. Good work. Control that movement going down. The slower, the more controlled, the better. Two, one, last rep and time. Good work, team. Flying through this one. 
Woo. <laughs> we are on deck now. We are on ground for 10 ab cycles and two push ups. Let's work, team. We are up in four, two, one. We are there. All right, let's finish off this second round nice and strong with 10 ab cycles and two push ups. Let's make this quick. Jumping one, two. We are back over with a quickness. Good job, team. And 10 for me. I'm back over. Nice, strong push ups, utilizing our great form that I know we are using. Last five here. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Peeling ourselves off the ground here. Again, for that last movement, if we need to scale back, if our push up is here off of our knees, that's perfectly fine. Let's make sure that our hands are tracking right over, right underneath our shoulders, actually. Dropping down into that push up and right back up, tucking in those elbows towards, towards our torso here. Not too wide, right at that 45 degree mark. Should be a little bit more comfortable for you on those shoulders. All right, as we break, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Any questions? Are you outside today? Are you inside today? Are you at home today? Where are you working out from? Let us know. All right, team, we are back up with jumping jacks and a press in three, two, one as I grab my resistance and we are back up, team. <laughs> that one almost got me. Nice and controlled movements here. Third round here, we should be nice and locked into our movements. Again, this is a jack, jumping jack to overhead press. You should feel that in the outside of your thighs, your legs, your quads, your calves, and your shoulders, and your traps. I just named my whole body. Two, one, and time. 40 seconds down, 20 seconds of rest here. And we are jumping into that bent over row, grabbing that resistance of choice. Again, if you do not have any resistance, let's make that strong fist and squeeze at the top here. All right, team, we're up in two, one. We're working here. Ah, nice, strong breaths. Take that deep breath here. Think about breathing in on the way down and exhaling as you bring that dumbbell up to your chest. Elbows are extending up towards that ceiling. That back is flat. Good. Nice soft bend at the knees. Hips are back to the wall. Last five, three, one, time. Good job team, good job. Keeping with that resistance. Third round here of that sumo squat with a bicep curl. All right, team, setting ourselves up here. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, sumo squat here. Our feet are wider than shoulder width apart. Dropping down, dropping those hips back to our comfort level. Drop down to our comfort level. Try to get those knees tracking over our toes. Chest is up, nice and proud. Head is gazing just ahead. Good. Doing great, team. Last five. Almost there. Keep it tight. Three, two, one. Last rep, finish it out. And time. Good work. Good work, team. We are back on the ground here. 10 ab cycles and two push ups coming up quick. Let's get down there. We are up in three, two, one. All right, 10 ab cycles and two push ups. 
nine, 10. Try to move quicker. One, two, off the knees is fine. Back into those ab cycles. Good job, team. Let's keep it up. Good. Last 10 seconds here. Good work, Sergeant Barry, good work. Last three, two, one, and time. <laughs> ah, good job, team, good job. Checking my fitness tracker here. My heart rate is elevated. <laughs> 99, all right. I see you. That's all. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what mine is then. <laughs> <laughs> That's the great thing about our cardio based movements. Exercise number one and exercise number four are more of a cardio based movement. Exercise two and three will get your heart rate up and elevated, but primarily we are focusing on our breathing, focusing on our slow and controlled movements with that bent over row and sumo squat with a bicep curl. Both of those resistance based workouts or movements. So back up to our last round, grabbing our dumbbell of choice, resistance of choice, or none at all, jumping jacks with a press. Two, one. Here we go, team. Last round, team. Sergeant Barry, what do we like to say about our last round? Make this our best round. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Our last round is going to make it our best round. 20 seconds here, so we are halfway through this movement. Keep going, keep working with me. Keep working with us. Come on, BFit Nation, last 10 seconds. Finish nice and strong, out in five, three, two, one, and time. Good work with that one. You won't see it again today from me. <laughs> All right, grabbing that dumbbell of choice here or resistance of choice or making those tight fists, bent over row, working on that back strength here in two, one, here we go team. Hinging at those hips, dropping, dropping that back nice and flat, squeezing at the top. Again, that shoulder blade should be coming in to your body, into that center line of your body there. Elbows are tracking upward, bringing that dumbbell towards our chest. 12 more seconds here. <sighs> Remember your breathing, keeping that core tight. Keep that core tight. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good work, team. Good work. <sighs> 10 more seconds here. Sumo squat to bicep curl. Coming up in five. Nice wide stance here. In three, two, one. Here we go, team. Dropping those hips back to our comfort level and bringing that weight or resistance up to our chest while our elbows are pinned at our rib cage. There you go, keeping that chest up nice and proud. That gaze is looking straight ahead. 15 seconds of work left. Good job, team, keep it up. Last five, nice strong movements here. Three, two, one, finish it out. Time. Good work, team. <laughs> awesome job, awesome job. You won't see that one again today. All right, 10 ab cycles and two push-ups. This limited amount, of, limited amount of rest will keep our heart rate elevated. Here we go, team. Three, <clears throat> two, one. Last movement for today. 10 ab cycles and two push-ups. And back over with the quickness. Good, nice, strong push-up. Keeping that form locked in. Good, nice flat back, hips are square. Nice, keeping that core tight. 
during our ab cycles, 10 seconds left. Good. Team, we are less than five here. Three, two, one, and time. <laughs> Good work. Sometimes I think I count slower than the clock. <laughs> don't, don't at me, I'm just saying. <laughs> Towel off, hydrate, take a breather for yourself, collect ourselves. Think about the hard work that you just put in, focusing on ourselves, focusing on our body. Again, Heart Health Awareness Month is this, is this month in the month of February. So again, again, it's great to take time for ourselves to develop ourselves into making better choices, healthier choices, working on our fitness, our activity, activity levels, dialing in our nutrition, again, making better food selections and food choices throughout the week and throughout today. As I catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> Be Fit Nation, how did you like it? Let us know in the comments below. Where are you watching from? Where did you work out from? Where did you complete this workout from? Sergeant Barry, ma'am, how are you doing today? How are you doing? Doing good, workout? Roy. Um, I'm sure most people noticed that my furry friend joined me today. Uh, so she's become one of my favorite workout partners. So let us know in the comments if you have a furry friend who joins you. And even better yet, we'd love to see a picture. So good yes, workout. <laughs> Absolutely, that is so perfect. Drop us a photo of your pets, of your friendly companions, your friendly workout partners. Let us know uh, in the comments below what, <laughs> who you're working out with. You know, uh, again, I, partners and accountability uh, teammates can, again, help keep you on track. We don't have to um, keep working out by ourselves. You do have us, but you also share this share this live stream share this live event with your friends with your family with your coworkers. let's communicate let's work out together as a team because we are a team be fit nation and we are here here to support one another all right so sharing is definitely caring in our fitness endeavors so <laughs> <laughs> so with that again if you um liked any of these movements feel free and incorporate them into your Next workout, rewatch, watch, rewatch, and share this live stream with uh, everyone that you may know to get the word out on health, uh, Heart Health Month and keeping us accountable and a healthier version of ourselves. So, with that, once again, thanks to Under Armour for the duffel bag. Again, it's a great option and a great tool to invest in if you are mobile, if you are moving around and you need things to carry along the way. Visit shopmyexchange.com or visit your local exchange. So with that, BFIT Live, BFIT Nation. Any last words, Sergeant Barry, before we sign off? No, nope. good job, everyone. <laughs> See you next week or following week, I guess. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, th that's a good point, Sergeant Barry. So next Monday, next Monday is, is a holiday. So we will be pushing to next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Good point. So next Wednesday, we will see you locked in here at Be Fit Live. Great to see you again. Share, share, share. And we are signing off here, Roy and Senior Master Sergeant Barry. Thank you so much for joining us. Like and uh, subscribe. Thank you. Signing off here. Bye. <laughs>